How do there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV where today I'm going to share with you a little bit of footage and a little bit of something I've been up to these past couple of days. So this past Thursday and Friday I've been on the road again. I've been on the road for quite some miles over just a 24 hour period. It started with a journey from Daventry, my hometown, 127 miles down to Sittingbourne in Kent which was over the Dartford Crossing and about a three hour drive with traffic and everything considered on top of that now what i went there for is i went there to a place called the stumble inn for the sitting born darts presentation night where not only was i handing out the trophies and the awards to all the winners but i was also taking on those winners and people from within the crowd throughout the night and now if you follow this channel you'll know that i've been going through a couple of issues recently so i never fully know what to expect when i play darts but i actually play really well on this night a couple of nice shots some double doubles through beer mats double doubles through a beer mats with the opponent's darts some really cool shots throughout the night however i don't think any shot was probably more enjoyable for me than the most naughty finish I think I've gave anybody, and especially in front of a crowd. The 154 finish, treble 18, bull, bull. Absolutely filthy, no need for it, but I was happy to do it anyway. Really good night, really enjoyed my night down there. Also managed to see Alex Pollington down there, who had the original Edgar TV microphone as well, so it's good to see that one again before taking the 152 mile trip back up the way I've just come from uh, the Daventry down to Sittingbourne, past Daventry and up to Leicester for Armageddon. And this event was an MDA Modus production. If you're not sure what they look like, I do suggest going and taking a look at some of my previous videos like that one there. I played Gerwin Price in the face of final at the back end of last year. If you want to see what the nights are like and sort of how the meet and greets work, you normally get to get in and get up close and personal with the players. Members from the crowd will play the players. So there's plenty of opportunity to get really involved with the night. You just don't really know what's going to happen on the night. This night started off with Michael Van Gerwen kicking off the action. He was meant to be playing on the night, but we know he pulled out from the Premier League with an injury, but still made the time to pop over to the Morningside Arena to come and address the crowd, do the meet and greets, and still be able to be there and get those photos. You also saw the Four Brothers, the people you might know if you're a fan of Tiki Tok, very funny guys over on there, quite local to the area. And it was a bit of a local celebration. We also had Mark Selby coming down to join us and former Leicester City footballer Matt Elliott in the house. It was my turn to come onto stage and I've got to admit, it was great once again to be walking onto a stage in front of a couple of thousand people again. I didn't know if this would sort of come round for me again with everything that's been going on. But great feeling to be up there once again, giving the hellos and the salutes. Ready for the walk-on of Pete Burgoyne. Pete was my opponent on the evening. You may have seen him on the PDC Challenge Tour. He's also had a couple of PDC Pro Tour invites last year off the back of doing well in the Challenge Tour events. You might have also seen him on the Moda Super Series. So if you are an avid follower of darts, you may have seen him quite a bit. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what players say to each other in that situation as he was coming on, I was just sort of reminding him that I've played him in our last exhibition in Skegness and I beat him 3-0 but ignore the start of 38 it does get better I'm going to set the scene a little bit for you here. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm coming down to leave the 167 and I do get the treble 20. I do get the treble 19 and then I just milk the situation. You may have seen the darts referee, Jack Langston, looking in there to see if it was close. It wasn't close. It was quite a long way away. But I'm just telling a guy in the crowd here that I love double 19. That 
No, I'm telling him, see what I said? I love a bit of double 19. Who doesn't love a bit of double 19? It wasn't the plan. I wanted the ball. I, it wouldn't have been a Gary Anderson 170 finish moment where I talk about it forever, but it would have been one of those moments I certainly do like to bring up from time to time, and having the footage of that would have been pretty cool. Another little insight to what players are saying to each other here. You'll see Pete Burgoyne, dart bounce out. I'm saying to him there, I'm gutted for you. Um, really, it's just silly, sarcastic comments around not really being disappointed for him. It's sort of the sort of thing you say on these. Now, you wouldn't say it in like a, a big world championship game, but you certainly would in these ones. Do love a bit of a wind up. 85, Matthew Maguire 52. That's a game shot and the match to Matt. And that was the match, a 2-0 victory, 91 average. I'm now telling Pete, you don't even want a leg on these nights yet, so maybe better luck next time before going doing a bit of media work and commitments, having a chat with a couple of outlets and talking about what the future holds because it's getting a bit interesting at the moment. As well as the matches on these big exhibitions, they do try and really capture this sort of history side of darts and also the sort of spectacles of darts and one of those sort of spectacles of the game would be an iconic Bobby George walk-on which we managed to see for about 21 minutes. Over to the dart in action now it was Fallon Sherrick the women's world match play champion taking on Alex Long of Leicester in a best of five game various formats throughout the night this one went the way of Fallon Sherrick a 3-1 success with an average of around about 86, not too shabby in a victory here over Alex. The battle of the walk-on song, Sweet Caroline versus Don't Look Back in Anger, went the way of Daryl Gurney, a man who's been having a massive upturn in form this year. Good performance here, a 5-4 success, with an average of around 97. The main event of the evening, though, was an all-Welsh affair. Johnny Clayton stepping in to replace the injured Michael Van Gerwen at the last second, so fair play to Johnny, taking on Gerwin Price. Gerwin Price averaging 101, continuing that upwards trend in terms of the form of him and those constant tumblers averages in the main event, a strong success for Gerwin Price. Other results on the night, Nathan Rafferty picking up a victory over Jacob Selby Reavers and Chris Wickerden picking up a victory over Carl Sedlacek. Now, if this has sort of wet your appetite a little bit and you think, I want to come up and watch one of these events, there are some events coming up soon that I'm going to be on as well. You'll see here in Bradford, a night at the darts. That is going to be on the 7th of September. The lineup for that, you'll see there, Joe Cullen on the card, Gerwin Price, Michael Van Gerwin, Fallon Sherrick. And I'm going to be on the same card with those guys, with Nathan Rafferty again, on the 9th of September in Skegness. And also on the 8th for Over the Top in Barnsley. So a couple of back-to-back -back nights there. The 7th, the 8th and the 9th of September. So come check it out if you want to have a look at what those darts nights are like. And also looking at the possibility here of strapping the old GoPro to the head. And filming one of these walk-ons as well. So pop down if you want to be involved in that. And be forever on Edgar TV. I hope you have enjoyed this video and a little look at what I've been doing this past week in terms of the exhibitions. And I'll catch you soon for some more Edgar TV. Edgar TV.